And then they were like, Summer goes first. Summer goes by herself. So Summer goes first and she goes by herself into the bar. And it's my ex-boyfriend standing at the bar. fuck. I don't even go in the ocean, bro. When I was younger, a friend of mine got chased by a bull shark. And ever since then, it was a wrap for me. I was like, never again. They got chased. Like by a bull they, shark. Like he was surfing. Like, oh. oh. Um, no, he was surfing and we see like a little like fin and we were up on the pier. And then another friend of ours was like, that's a bull shark. And those are like the most aggressive sharks. Apparently, I don't know, like levels of aggression in sharks. But I just, <laughs> from what I hear, Do they have that's a up there. System? Yeah. Yeah. I guess there's like, it's like hot sh- wings, it's like mild, moderate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah. There's like meaner sharks and just like, you know, some chill ones Actress, where they just kind of like, they're happy to be there. Um, Y'all might be wondering, you're probably not how I got this little hat. This little like, <laughs> aggressive that hat, yeah. yeah so i was what does it say it's the brand what, what does nobody it say? knows black craft say. yeah black craft. it's like a like a little is he brand? bleeding he like bit someone he has little fangs oh, he's a, bit? He's oh, a he's mean a, little he's beaver he's a feral beaver yeah for a feral gal yeah um, <laughs> vampire beaver yeah so just meandering instagram as i do and i guess me and this guy followed each other i don't know who followed who first but he messages me. We're, we start talking like back and forth. And funny enough, um, there was a guy that I've talked about prior on the podcast who had like a coffee company. Turns out this guy too has a coffee company, but it's like an emo coffee company and also a clothing line. Two? Yeah, two of them? I don't It's interesting. So like the thing is, and it's kind of a cool concept. It's in Salem, like the witch trial moment. And it's like, it, it's sick. And literally the theme of this coffee shop is like witches and stuff. So kind of love that. I'm left-handed, so people always think I'm a witch. Really? Yeah. Huh. Do you think back? <laughs> yeah, back in the day, like in Salem and all the yeah. witch trials, if you were left-handed, like they thought you were a witch. Like, no. They would like, yeah, they'd like tie little rocks to your feet and throw you in the, the little, lake. Oh. Well, not little rocks. Like they were boulders, so you stay down and drown. <laughs> it's but, a hard, yeah. They were it's killing you, for sure. It's not just a boulder. It's but yeah, rock. no, lefties. Who, who of us do y'all think would have been tried in the witch trials back in the day and who would have made it? Like, who do you think they would assume to be a witch of us for? Probably you. Fuck. <laughs> Damn, like, is it the hat, please? Like, yeah. but but for what reason do you think? I don't disagree. I don't. But, like, why do you think? I don't know. You got that real strong intuition. They'd probably be like, she's a witch. Oh, them. yeah. You're psychic, I wouldn't bro. tell them that, bro. It's witchcraft. I, I'm trying best. to die. If I know it's the witch trials, I'm not going to tell them I'm intuitive, you know? I'm going to be like, I don't know what's going on. I'm just a woman. I'm a simple gal. I don't know. Let me l- turn some butter. Um, <laughs> like, I would literally lie. I don't, honestly don't fucking know. I, I don't know either. I, I mean, I would do whatever they were doing back then just to not, you know, I would try to be under the radar. It's just like, you know, during the times with the Jews, I would probably flip flop and be oh, like. me too. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? I, oof. Just cl- clean my Christian side real hard. I'd be in trouble either way, huh? Yeah. Um, all right. Well, <laughs> typical. Anyway, so I met this guy. And, um, great segue. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah. So, with that said, um, he has that coffee shop. So, I was like, that's interesting, like a weird little like intersection, but it gets weirder. So, years ago, in my crazier little moment, um, there's a band and he, they came to our hometown and we were like obsessed with them. I still kind of am. It's like a little rock moment. And one of the guys, even after they left, like we kept hanging out, whatever. So, ends up, he was on. Have you all seen that show? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, so, but I've heard of it. Yeah. So I haven't really like watched it thoroughly, but the guy from that band dated one of the girls on that show. Well, turns out, so did the emo coffee guy. They dated a girl on that show. So they randomly know each other. Weird. Like one degree of separation. And it's just me. Like what are the fucking odds? Speaking of that, segue into the way that um we were on that show. I was gonna bring. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. What is the show? Like, give the details. Um. Okay. So it was. Absolute disaster of my night for sure. Well, I, the whole thing was just shambles. I mean, I was screaming at people. I was. I hope they never ever release that footage. You know, like, I got that tried to hit on you, and I started screaming at him. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Um, like, it's a dating show. Y'all are supposed to flirt. I'm like, I don't want to. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I want to go. go I, yeah, I reckon I like just sat across from each other yeah. the whole time. Uh, the premise of the show was that we were like a bunch of daters, and we were to go into this bar, and I guess they're like tr- the narrative they were trying to make was that armadillo din is like notorious in Austin for like people meeting each other and falling in love. I'm like, bro, I'm telling you, <laughs> we were all right, coming back trays, to me. Trays, we were like, oh, obliterated. Oh my God. Yeah. I went home. Just my all night. got completely silent. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't though, because the thing is, like, dude, we can't act 
drunk. Like none of us, like we have to like try to hold our shit together because they're like recording everything. You know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, I have to like compose myself. I have to like act normal. But I didn't know how long it was going to go on. And I didn't, I didn't know they'd be like guzzling shots down our throat the whole day, like by the tray. They it was knew what nuts. they were doing though. Oh, like yeah. they, want, they wanted us drunk. They wanted to see yeah. what we do. Mm mm. Yeah, well, the pilot never aired, but... <laughs> yeah, we never got picked up. Yeah. The pilot never aired. I understand God, what you're I saying. I said <laughs> some really mean things at the end. I really, like, yeah. lost it. I cried a lot. Yes, so the guy who plays Eric on Boy Meets World, um, he, the older brother, Eric, yeah. he hot older brother, loved him. Mm on the show hate yeah. him now obviously but he's like talking on this podcast and he's like you know at the time like i started the show i started, started filming the show when i'm 19 um and he said this stuff didn't even happen until i was 24 and so that's 2001 he's 24 right and the the actual like case doesn't like come about until 2004 so he's 27 and he's like yeah and, and then he sat me down at his house and basically explained to me and asked me to write him a letter and he's like and i feel so bad well, they've also, for this podcast, they've hired this, like, family therapist, or I'm not sure what her credentials are off the top of my head, but it almost feels like throughout the whole podcast, they hired her with the purpose of trying to make everyone feel bad for them. Like, she's like, well, you were just a child, and, like, you need to think of how young you were. And I'm like, Eric child. was 27 yeah. when he wrote this letter. If I'm tw- I was 27 last year. Yeah. Like, if a 40-year-old man came to me and was like, I was seduced by a 15-year-old Please help me and write this letter in support. Yeah. I would I'd literally have to be kick like, his ass. Like, yes. straight to prison, lobotomy for you. Like, no. Yeah. Yeah. And at one point, I mean, I was in shock. I mean, my jaw dropped to the floor. Um, The guy who played Sean, his name's uh, Ryder Strong. Mm. He's talking about, he's like, he's like, you know, I just feel really guilty about this. And he pauses. And I'm like, oh, like, he's really going to be like, you know, I, I messed up. And he goes, I feel really guilty about this. We shouldn't still be shaming this man after all these years. No. And I was like, what, the fuck? what in the Sam Hill fuck? I, like, what? I really, like, I got chills. I was like on my little treadmill at the gym. And I was like, okay, I gotta, like, I gotta take a moment because that was so bad. And I'm like, are, the incline real quick. are you just like, is this so normal? Like, is this so normal? And they were saying things like, you know, I was on set and like as a kid actor, like, I heard adults always making comments about like Topanga, even though she was a minor, like, you know, saying things about how she's so, she's so hot, she's so hot. And he was like, you know, this, he's like this particular dialogue coach, he was a gay man. And so him making comments about boys like that seemed normal because the other people were making comments about little girls like that. Whoa. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like you are really like committed to this bit right now and you are wrong. Like it is so wrong. Damn. It had to have happened to all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Delusion. I mean, like Like, they don't know any different. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this has got to be so common. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is that shit called where you like, mm, what is that term when you almost like glorify your abuser? Stockholm syndrome when you yeah. have like a, a weird like attachment or whatever, or like a, you know? Yeah. yeah. I feel like they all probably have it because it's like when you're getting abused and you're that young mm-hmm. and also everybody around you is getting abused. Yeah. How do you rationalize it? Yeah. How does your brain protect well, you? Especially with someone that's mm-hmm. superior, someone that's yeah. supposed to be a per- parental, like, like you know. And your protector just normal, or who's supposed to protect you normalizes it. And yeah. that's supposed to be like your like role model, like someone that you can like, you know, yeah. they so should like, know. When you're a kid, you know, if you need help, find an adult. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they don't know. They don't understand. They think that's just what's supposed to happen. Like that's yeah. so freaking sad. Oh my that's God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's literally insane like today with the clip that i posted like the diddy one whatever i was like apprehensive once i posted it because i was like i feel like it's just very controversial sure but at the same time is it like what are like where's the polarity yeah like what is the controversy what is is the controversy like yeah i'm sorry but if you're disagreeing with me that pedophilia is wrong like there i mean there's no controversy there or if you want someone to not talk about it why like because it's taboo and like uncomfortable well then i mean it's still gonna happen regardless we have to talk about it i mean yeah they like you know, even if none of us have kids, right? Yeah. And like, we don't need to be mindful about it for our own kids. Like, what if we have a friend that we like don't see the red flags about them, or they're somebody that we like have an acquaintance with, and they act that way? Yeah. Yeah. Even if it helps one person, yeah. I mean, it makes it worth it to not be quiet about it. Like, it's wrong. It's been going on clearly for who knows how long. Like, I mean, the beginning of been... time, probably. Like, yeah. 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 No, it's extremely fucked. Um, didn't. Drake Bell have like allegations, but like I have a conspiracy theory about this. I was telling Bailey today, like, I don't know like how feasible this is, but like what 
I don't know what exactly like happened, but I guess they were claiming he had then done something similar to what was claimed without like saying it, I guess, claimed to have been done to him back in the day. But I guess what I think is, and I could be totally wrong, just an opinion, but he was going to come out and like say what happened to him. And because these people have so much power, yeah, they have so much power, they caught wind of it. And they were like, oh, well, guess what? Uno reverse. We're going to say you did it. And that way, if you try to say we did, we're going to be like, um, no, he's just trying to cover up for himself, you know? A hundred percent. Yeah. So it I, knocks his credibility. A hundred percent. No, I think um, actually what actually from what I understand happened was that he like was talking to a girl and she lied about her age. So all those charges got dropped. Like he never actually got convicted of anything yeah. because they had proof that she lied about her age. She was mm. a minor. Um, but I do have the same theory. I almost feel like that's exactly what was happening because the guy only got 16 months. It's disgusting. And, can you believe, like, and then right after they hired him on Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Mm-hmm. Stop. Yes. yes. With two boys is the yes. main character. Yes. They hired God. him because he was so well connected in the industry. Mm-hmm. He had so many like higher ups that like even in the documentary, they say like, you know, when asked like the people who worked on Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, when asked about it, like the casting or like hiring him. They asked him about it and he said, oh, well, you know, the issue's been handled. Like, if some... In what way? Exactly. Where are the parents in this situation? Why are you not like, absolutely not? You're not having this person around my kids. Mm -hmm. Well, like his dad, Drake Bell's dad is like definitely in... Like he understands what's happening and he thinks he's doing a good job by protecting. But then like the mom takes over and then he has no say really. When also like he got like... Or Drake got manipulated really badly by Brian, right? Yeah. Basically turning him against his dad. Basically like your dad is stealing money from you. He should Mm -hmm. be your manager. And really like turn Drake against his dad. But his dad the whole time has been like, don't be... Like when his dad was like, hey, like I want whatever you want. He told Drake's mom because they were divorced, the dad and the mom. Mm -hmm. Like they didn't see each other. And he told Drake... Drake's mom, he's like, I'll let him do whatever he wants. Just do not let my son alone with Brian Peck. I would fight. Yeah. Burn that place to the ground. Oh, literally. Yeah. I, I would just burn the side. I'm so protective walk away. over way smaller things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And what about the other guy? You Rob I mean? Schneider. But we yeah. don't have any proof that Rob Schneider exactly. touched them. But, but there we- was that Twitter account that Amanda Bynes had. It was like her, have you not seen this? No. She used to have this Twitter account under an alias. And she tweeted at one point, and it was something along the lines of, you know, this was all so messed up. My boss got me pregnant at 13 and made me have an abortion. Oh, oh my God, I have chills. Yeah. And so everyone's like, why were we not listening to Amanda Bynes? Like, and throughout the documentary, they talk about how close she was with Dan Schneider and how she was spending a lot of time alone with him. And so now people are circling back and finding those old tweets and they're like, hey, like, she tweeted this. Yeah. And we all just like laughed it off like she was having this like psychotic break or, mm-hmm. you know, drug induced psychosis. And like, is this not something we should be talking about now? Yeah, which I think happens a lot. Like a lot of the time, like whistleblowers or people who try to like come out and say something about the industry or someone who's more famous, they end up being made to look crazy to diminish their credibility when really like they're probably just trying to tell the truth about something and mm-hmm. people higher up than them are like, oh, but they're crazy. Oh, I mean, like just because you do drugs doesn't mean you're a liar. Yeah. You can't equate the two. Yeah. But, I, but I mean, unfortunately, it does like make you a little less credible as a person. Yeah. No, that's so sad because I know like I remember hearing that just on social media and stuff. Everyone's like, well, we want to hear from her. But I don't think that people would really take right now what she says for like, which is really sad. But I just want peace for Amanda Bynes, honestly. Yeah. Honestly, like we all do drugs. Are we not credible? (laughs) (laughs) Like, you know, I yeah, I think like it's 2024. You know what I mean? It's like almost the same as like back in the day. They were like, oh, don't get tattoos if you want to apply for a job or get a good job. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, who cares? I don't think that's like indicative of your character at all. I know in the past I've heard, like at my job prior to the one I have now, like uh, the med sales job, Hmm. it's just kind of the people that have been in it for years, like Gen X, I think it is, older, you know, they didn't want to hire someone with like a tattoo sleeve. And I'm like, what the fuck do they do with their ability Yeah, yeah, to do a job? Actually, a huge thing in the medical community, there was a it was a big conversation um, about doctors posting photos in bikinis, women doctors. Oh, huge topic conversation. Is that professional? Is it not? What do you think? I, I think don't care. It's fine. 
the the doctor in question like in like started this whole conversation she was like at the beach with her family yeah can a doctor what not go to a pool like <laughs> she have to wear a caftan like what did she like <laughs> roll yeah. like, it's like what the fuck what oh, was she supposed to wear the beach like yeah with her family if she wanted to have a nice moment with her family at the beach and take a photo and post it like i have i, I have no issues with anyone wearing a bikini at any yeah. time i really don't straight misogyny you at that to point give up I mean, swimming if you're gonna be a doctor you have like, you stay <laughs> doctors don't fun. swim <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> the like root of it all it's just misogyny mm-hmm. the high school in corpus where the teacher had a relationship with a student. It was like Ugh. a female teacher and a male student. Yo. But at the same time, you won't hire a teacher that has a tattoo sleeve. Bro, this one gets me. But you're going to let her. Like, what? Back home, a lot of people yeah. we know um, are on her side. They're, They're like, like, give it a break. Like, that happened, like, how long ago? Not even, like, not even 10 years. Wait, not what? even 10 years ago. They're, yeah. like, They're on this teacher's side? Yeah, they're like, leave her alone. That happened a long time ago. I was like, fuck no. That was a child. I'm like, how did you let a kid alone? Well, I mean, I guess he was only, like, he I was, mean, but even if it's your student. It doesn't, like, yeah. I have no attraction to a what? 16-year-old 16 child. Year old. What about him taking a fucking social studies test does it for you? Like, f- no. Dude. Do you not gross. have other men to date? Like, exactly. I, I don't, I, I mean, it goes beyond that, obviously, psychologically. But, but it's like there's people in the world, and you want that, per- like, you're supposed to take, like, protect them. You're supposed to, like, be like, they're, you know, right. that's just not. And the thing is, for me, I was like, if that was a male teacher and a female student, that would have been right. handled so fucking differently. They oh, went, yeah. on, do- they went on Dr. Phil. Burned him on the street. No, right. no. Happened at my school. My dean, my senior year dean, who was also my physics teacher, who was attractive, mm. um, he like the year after I graduated, um, there was a girl and she was having a lot of like mental health issues. So she she would make up work in his office. They started to have a relationship. He was married to the art teacher. Oh no. And oh. the reason people found out is because she started posting Visco photos Not of Visco. the back of his head in bed. <laughs> Just Tumblr, like yeah. And people oh. were like, yo, like this isn't it though? She's like That's 17 Roberts. and this guy's balding. <laughs> the back of his Bob? Head. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait a minute. If I ever seen it. And it was bald patch anywhere. Yeah. Damn. Well, well, yeah, no, no. It was ba- like a bald patch. I'm like, <laughs> damn it. People literally. I'm like, it was me today. today. <laughs> because she was going into his office all the time. And then here's this fucking man's back of his head <sighs> on her visco of them in a bed. Like, so he got outed. And what did this? Because this girl ended up being friends with my sister. Mm-hmm. Like, after this happened, they continued the relationship. The wife left. She left the school whatever they had a baby it was what? fucked the school the principal of the school went to her Wait, the girl the, the student and the dean had a baby no 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 oh, he had a baby with the art teacher oh, oh, oh yeah, i thought dude. you were like god yeah. and then it was like this is like, a wild tale. Wild wild like, was grooming the story. Visco, just <laughs> no. <laughs> That's all we knew. Just kidding. Okay, no. okay. Oh, okay. Maybe a private less quit, there. Less <laughs> shocking. Fine. Yeah. yeah. And they, our school found out, and the principal, who was a female, went to the female student and was like, You don't tell anybody that it's true what the actual no yeah like you don't <laughs> tell a soul that it's no. true if people ask you you lie Why are wow we lying? It's like, and yeah what? no he got okay he got promoted no, to vice fuck. principal hell yep. kind of fucking hillbilly shit no literally this like come on you you care about protecting the reputation yeah. for these people for a Public high school. Yeah. You don't even pay to go here. It's not like a Swiss private school. school. Yeah. Where you can a year and leave. Like, yeah. Oh, like, wait a minute. Yikes. It's crazy. No, but right. our school was like that. I, I'd find Ew. out that there was multiple other allegations from teachers to students and even myself I reported my teacher for making extremely inappropriate comments to me. And what did they do? They said, you don't tell anybody. <gasps> what yep. the f- Truly, the woman who did it at our high school went on fucking Dr. Phil. Shut the She fuck went on up. fucking Dr. Phil. And like, people <laughs> in are like, don't bring it up. Let her move on. We're like, she went on national TV. I, like, I would never let it and die. And she talked about it. Yes. She went on. Okay. And she was like, this she is a great it. tapes. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> run it back, run it back. Dude, this woman, 
goes on motherfucking Dr. Phil himself with the student and the mom comes on. And mind you, this is Corpus. So the mom's like ratchet and she comes on. Yelling. And the, yeah, well, the teacher's like, he sent like videos to everyone and was bragging. And the mom comes on all ghetto and she's like, don't get it twisted. He wasn't bragging. I bet it wasn't even that good. Shut and the I'm like, fuck ah! up. Yeah. Yeah, it was a shit show. Like, and mind you, like, if people are talking about a fake story of Alex crying at the bar in Corpus, imagine how this went, right? Like, this was like, I mean, she's on Dr. Phil. Yeah, well, exactly. And it's like, she took her 15 minutes and ran. And then it's like, but then you want teacher? Uh, I'm like, yeah, this probably is. Yeah, like, she's the principal now. (laughs) She's the dean. (laughs) Just kidding. Um, did she? No, she was a personal trainer too. Yeah. She just did every job. Like she's like the mayor, like the chief of police. Um, she just oh, fucks somebody and moves. Can on. we play this? I don't know. Yeah, Do you want to watch know, like actually. a clip and just I'll like oh mute it. Y'all want to react? I just to actually want to see it. Yeah, uh, turn the volume up. I'll show like y'all's reaction, but I'll like mute the video. Yeah, I've seen this video. Oh my god, that's our high school. Why are you texting him? Fifteen million views. Sorry, it's not it's funny. Really like there's nothing to Ma'am! This kid looks like a fuckboy, respectfully, not to yeah. him shame or blame. Yeah, but he looks Get like... Get this one out of my face. Get this one out of all the of his quote. friends. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Are they about to play the... The quote on it is, I didn't think it was legally wrong. Ma'am, that's the literal law. Yeah. <laughs> Quite literally. I think everyone knows that. <laughs> Quite literally in the law itself. She's like, like, I can't get arrested for being retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. You're like, literally a teacher, ma'am. She's like, we were talking for a month. School. I'm Dad, like, she said, I didn't feel like I was talking to a child. You didn't feel like you were talking to a child when he was like sitting in your classroom? Fuck him. <laughs> when you were grading his tests? Oh my God. You released him to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Like when he wanted he to go. He path. said, Miss, can I go potty? And we were like, <laughs> Didn't feel like a child. Sorry. <laughs> You're like, something about it. I, I didn't click. I don't know. I mean, like, no for me, dog. Like, oh. Uh, yeah. He yeah, said yeah. he gave good massages, so I invited him over to my house. Like, <laughs> Dude, oh. I'm like, how did, like, teenager Corpus Christi Riz work on you? <laughs> Am I, I said, like, what the fuck? <sighs> like, that gets me every time, too. I'm like, how? Yeah. That's it's your, like, of a you try to get out of it. That's your alibi or your, like, reasoning as to why it's okay is, like, his little, like, pickup lines were so good. You had to go get a fucking massage. Like, what? Like, what why in the literal... Why texting him? Yeah. That's not appropriate. No, yeah, she knew. I mean, fuck I think it. she just you was gonna play some number. card. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's not smart. It didn't feel like I was talking to a child. Yeah. Right. I'm like, sure. She should not be educating our future well, leaders of America. My middle school, where her sister now goes, was the trenches of the depths of the hood. No. And yes, but it also has a program called the Athena program for like gifted and talented kids. <laughs> yeah. Were you in it? Which yeah. she's and she's in it too. And um There's so the feud. <laughs> Little the gifted kids. Like it's her four. But the Athena kids and then the neighborhood kids. They called them neighborhood kids, which like the school called them, not the teachers. So it already created this division, right? Like it made a Why weird. Why did they get a cool name? It, precisely. And I always wondered that. And like as I got older, they haven't even changed it to this day. It's and they, 2024. And they segregate them. Like they yeah. don't have lunch it's together fucked. they don't like play together so why have them in the same school they can't eat together they're like literally. don't rub off on each other <laughs> I swear to god don't let their must get on you they like, share the building fuck? yeah so they have to watch the athena kids get all these benefits get better like like everything is like upgraded for them and i remember like being there and i had cousins that were in the other program and i was like this doesn't seem right. This doesn't seem fair that they're favored to such an extent. But I think it's because they got a lot of, like, funding for that portion of the school, like the gifted little portion. But it's like you treat these other students like they're so far below. So it creates this animosity. So, like, what did your sister kids get beat up yeah. a lot? Um, yes. It depends they, on which. Yeah. So that's why I checked in on my sister. I'm like, are, are you good? Yeah, <laughs> like, I would assume that's what would happen when you do that. Like, So she just said that she was, like, complimenting someone's shoes. And the little girl was like, do you want to scrap? Like, you won't do nothing because okay. you're – yeah. Like – what else did she say? Like, do you want to catch a super? fade? Yeah, she's like, do you want to catch a fade? And Alex is like, what does that mean? Yeah, like, I'm like, you gonna kids. Your ass. Yeah. I'm like, I know because I went there. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I, for me, luckily, like, I had cousins, like, on that side or whatever. So, like, I was okay. But I saw kids, like, get desks thrown at them, get their ass beat, get, like, their backpacks, like, chunked off the bree- breezeway, breeze walk, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Like, it was, like, turf wars. How like, it was survive childhood. Oh. How did yeah. survive childhood? Girl. 
<laughs> I've never been in a it. fight in my life. Yeah. Oh, I'm, well, I didn't well, want I've been to. in way too many. <laughs> it's like the way it is is like if you don't, the, it'll be worse. Yeah. It's like have prison. To, like, it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If if you don't, like people are going to be like, oh, they're an easy target. So they're going to look tougher by like fighting you. So you have to. Even if so you can't if you're fight, you got to look strong willed from the get go, then you will be all right. Like even if you don't think you're like worth a fuck when it comes to fighting, you have to act scary and act yeah. like you can because then like there's a smaller likelihood. Like there are fights every day. There was not a day that passed without fights in school, like middle school, high school, like, yeah. Shoot, even adult. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Like every time the bars let out in Corpus, there is not one time without a brawl. Mm -hmm. A brawl. Yeah. That's wild. (laughs) It like, I guess, helps you grow. It makes you like vigilant, I guess. We got out. Some people never get out. I mean, how often do you use those fighting skills? Hopefully never, but. Actually, I only really know that one time really? when Alex and I were at Superstition. And oh, you wanted to tell this story? Yes. Yeah, so I want to hear it. So I honestly barely remember it until like she reminded me of it, and I kind of. I'm so I don't glad remember you that how up. it started. Do you remember how it started? I just remember how it ended. <laughs> she was just being, you know, catty and like just being weird, hanging around our group. So we had like a table or some sort, and like um, she was just hanging around. She kept looking over, kept looking over, and then um, I was just like having a great time. Like I was feeling the music. I was talking to Summer. My friends were there, and then she comes up and she's like. Hey, if you have something to say, like why don't you yes, say it's it to exactly my face? What it was. No, and I was like, ma'am. <laughs> shut the man. fuck up i was like sit down like i have i'm not even looking at you like i'm having such a good time with everyone like vibing out like i had no idea where she was coming from i was like honestly we have no problem but if you want one i'll give it to you right now it was so and funny. i felt just my so like funny. corpus like mm-hmm. take over that's how it goes because i'm yeah. like i'm having such i'm like dancing mm-hmm. and like having fun and it just came out of left field yeah no we're literally chatting this girl comes up and she's literally just like uh if you have something to say like you can say it to my face i remember Alex looks at me, she goes, what did she just say? And I go, I don't know. What did you just say? <laughs> and the girl goes, I hear it in your voice. if you have something to say, you can say it to my face. And Alex like, I just was like a light came on like in her eyes. And it was, I was like, I'm just, I'll, I'll, <laughs> be, like, right, I'll be right here. Yeah, I think some are like dipped. And I I'm like, like, I'm going to brawl. Like, <laughs> did you know this bitch no that was a random girl we were like just standing there with like a group of people we were with yeah. which is crazy because that is very much something that would happen at home yeah but in austin never and then, i don't never know act that way before it was wild did well, you fight it her? was un no she didn't want to smoke she <laughs> no, was she, just like oh god she was like on another level she like wasn't really all there I think. she was stunned i'm just scared bitches would call the cops here like i've already oh, been yeah. arrested for fighting and i just don't want to I've had men, Go grown men, be like, oh, I'm going to call the cops. You're going to beat my ass. I'm like, I, first of all, what? <laughs> How are you as a man? That's my favorite scared thing. Scared of a that. woman. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I love yeah. when men do that. I'm like, I'm all the way across the room from you. And you're like, you're scaring me. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> like, I'm just sitting here. <laughs> like, I'm existing. Like, it's insane. I'm an easy target for some reason. I feel the same way. Oh, yeah? Men always try me. Like, always are giving me attitude or talking some shit, like, grown men. And I'm like, what is, what energy am I giving off that's, like, making Mm. me, you want to, like, start an argument with me? They want to be so bad. Like, they want to be a woman so (laughs) bad that they're pissed at you that they can't be you. Yeah, they're obviously not a man if they're trying to Yeah, I'm just, it's so confusing. I'm just like, why do people fucking act weird towards me specifically? Like, nobody else is encountering oh, these yeah. fuckers. Uh, well, it's like I they think, won't do anything. Yeah. No, they never will. No. It's crazy. It's like, what point are you trying to... Uh, One day they will. Yeah. But what point are you trying to make? Like, oh, I could, like, fight a woman. Like, okay, good for you. Like, yeah. kudos. Like, you're so strong. Ooh. Or, like, the mean comments they make. Like, it just... It's like, why are you so nasty sometimes? Yeah. Except, like, okay, like, my least favorite thing, and this happens to me, and I don't know if this has ever happened to y'all before, but says a lot about me like if a guy hits on you and you're just like mm, no and they're like well you're not even that hot anyway oh, yeah. Yeah. and you're, you're like anyway i'm like what then why then, are you here yeah. yeah i'm like okay like you just said i was your dream girl yeah. you're like oh i think about my wife and then i'm like mm, no thanks like well you're not even that hot anyways i'm like okay so do you have low standards for yourself or what's going on here yeah. i don't have to be mean yeah, yeah but they will or say anything at all perhaps yeah. silence that well, would when be you nice. hit on someone yeah there's two options they like it or they don't you go into it knowing that there's two options just because they took the option that they don't like you doesn't mean like yeah that you need to insult them if all of us were male rappers who would each of us be oh i saw this topic on the list one. and i literally asked everyone at my work damn i definitely <laughs> didn't rate this huh i didn't get an answer oh uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, damn i'm a cliffhanger does Biebs count as a rapper like his bizzle era oh yeah what? No. 
that's mm, well, I guess he's not he's not, I guess he's not a rapper technically. Mm, you're gonna tell me that girlfriend was not like one of the best rap songs. <laughs> liked. Yeah. That's a good one. Kodak Black. Oh, okay. Bailey, who do you think you would be? I'm trying to think like who I feel you would be. Hmm. I mean, low key. You give Russ if he's a rapper a little bit. Ooh. Okay. I yeah. see that. I was gonna actually say Russ or J. Cole. Oh my mm. gosh. Yeah. I, see I can see the good that. ones. Sure. Good ones. Yeah. yeah. That day that we came back from that fucking compound, yeah. and you guys just, <laughs> you died after. I just bumped J. Cole the whole time back. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. I need I need some type of serotonin. The vibes, yeah. After that was just a very weird experience. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That was great. I feel like we covered a lot of important topics, a wide array for sure. But And also the lady on Dr. It. Phil. Like, I wonder what she's up to these days. You know, like the, should we get her on the pod? It's too fine right she now. She could yeah. be the one guest that we just shit talk the whole Ooh, time i just fight her <laughs> yeah her role is live fight Alex versus you got a like, teacher from corpus a ppd like <laughs> oh my page oh, match okay. i was telling her we should have someone on and do like a lie detector mm-hmm. i don't know who but i feel like that would be entertaining too. one of your exes from yeah. corpus <laughs> Bro, everything they say is a lie. We already know. Like, <laughs> I don't need to test them to know that. But yeah, but. just get like a, a conglomeration of just like Austin men and do mm. lie detectors on them. That's a good one. I feel like some of them would come on and just like because they want to be on something. Yeah, I can, yeah. They think it's cool to be on something. Yeah, <laughs> love you all. Thanks for coming on. Yay. Love you all. Thanks for and having love you guys me. so much. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>